Welcome back, I'm the Watch King. On this video, I brought up this concept of would you rather have one extraordinary watch in a collection, or would you rather have a lot of watches and make it a collection? I'm wearing a day date right now. Now, this is not the Lapis one, uh, but this is, you know, special in its own right. But the, I own a Lapis one in stock in my store. Um, I don't advertise it a lot, but for my viewers, I'll, I'll, I'll let people know for, if you follow the YouTube channel, you'll know. Um, and this is, a, you know, factory Lapis day date, double quick set, extremely rare, very special watch. And it goes with the whole story. I've made videos on it before, but it got me thinking, would you like that watch is worth maybe three or four day dates, depending on what the day date is, quick set, non quick set, single quick. There's a ton of different uh, variants and quality, right? Each you know, day date has different quality, full set box. But I'm doing an estimate around three to four, maybe five if you're squeezing it for that one for that one watch, right? So that made me think, what are other pieces? Like, would you rather have a stone dial date just or three or four date just, right? Five date just. What what is what would be better? And a famous watchmaker came up with the uh, phrase, don't put all your eggs in one basket, you know, referring to maybe buy a lot of watches that are not as extraordinaire as that one watch you can buy because you'll have a collection, you'll get to wear it a lot. So I think of this uh, to uh, an extent of both. This is what I do in my personal collection uh, or what I did before I have the two beautiful pieces I have now. Uh, I would do that. I would buy one extraordinary watch like make sure like it's basically the whole budget and maybe I'll save five or 10% uh, for a cheaper watch, right? Maybe it's like you have a Rolex day date, right? For instance, something like this with a factory. Well, this is factory string dial with baguettes. You'll very rarely see a dial like this, but like, let's say a diamond dial, you know, a uh, day date, right? And you put all your money into that. So maybe you can have a 34 millimeter, you know, hand wine Rolex or something, or maybe a 34 millimeter date or something like that, you know, to counteract it, right? Cause you're not gonna wear the day date every day. I mean, I guess if you have a certain type of job, you could, um, but most people don't wear that, you know, it beats up the gold, it stretches the bracelet. So you, you bring out the, the expensive one on, you know, special occasions and you have the, the less one. But I would love to know your opinions. This just got me thinking. Uh, it is, you know, it is interesting, right? Because I really, I don't know, right? If I had the lapis in front of me and three or four generic day dates, they made a lot of day dates, right? Uh, especially generics. That's why I don't stock a ton of them because there are so many out there. That's why I don't stock a ton of date just uh, because I have one or two maybe in my shop just because there's so many out there. Uh, and yes, there are some that are special and those are the ones that gravitate towards the better condition, the stuff that's really been almost unpolished. That's the type of stuff I, you know, I personally look for and I like. Um, and I think uh, everybody out there shopping for vintage appreciates. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you are looking for this uh, beauty of a day date or that lapis one, actually that lapis one, you'll have to reach out to me. But all of my other... Uh, stuff. My incredible pieces are on the watchkingofficial.com. Go check it out. Link in the description. And if you have any cool video ideas or anything out there, I want to leave it up to you and I'll be taking comments for some video ideas here in the future. So thank you and I will catch you in the next